Ready to unleash the power of Flutter 3.19? This exciting release unlocks a treasure trove of new features and enhancements for building even more dynamic and performant apps. Gemini AI Integration Imagine integrating powerful AI capabilities directly into your Flutter apps. With the Gemini AI Dart SDK, you can generate text, translate languages, analyze sentiment, and much more, all powered by Google's latest AI models. This is a game-changer for building intelligent chatbots. There is now a Google underscore generative underscore AI package on pub.dev. But Gemini isn't just about text it can also process images, opening doors to even more exciting scenarios. After installing the package, click on this link to generate the API key. Click this button here to go to Google AI Studio. Here I have generated my API key before. To generate your API key click here. Choose your project from Google Cloud. If you do not have any project on Google Cloud, create one before. After generating the key, copy it from here. Dot we're done here, let's go back to documenting the package. Here generative model class, which specifically handles connecting to generative AI models. This specifies that we want to connect to the Gemini Pro model. This is where you provide your unique API key to access the Gemini AI features that we have previously copied. This code creates a connection to the Gemini AI model using your API key. Scrolling Improvements Before, scrolling felt faster with two fingers. But now control the scrolling behavior of all fingers. You can configure the default behavior using scroll behavior. This means you can choose how scrolling reacts to different finger combinations. This release brings bug fixes for single child scroll view and reorderable list, addressing reported issues. This means you can expect smoother scrolling. Adaptive Switch Adaptive Switch, a new widget that automatically adapts its appearance to match the native look and feel of the device it's running on. No more needing separate switches for different platforms. Deep Linking Deep Linking made easy in Flutter 3.19. No more errors, and easy to use and, finally ensure users land on the right page in your app from any link. This early version tool helps you validate your deep linking setup, ensuring smooth transitions from web URLs to specific pages within your mobile app, and expect support for web check on iOS. Flutter iOS native fonts Previously, Flutter used the same font size and spacing for all text sizes on iOS, regardless of the actual size. This sometimes led to text appearing larger and more spread out than it should be. Now for larger fonts, it uses a more compact version. And for smaller fonts still maintain the slightly larger spacing for better readability. Windows ARM 64 Support Flutter now support for the ARM 64 architecture on Windows devices. This means you can now build native Windows apps that run efficiently on the growing number of ARM 64 powered devices. Now support for Windows 7 and 8 will be ending with the release of Dart 3.3 and Flutter 3.19. And this change will not affect existing apps already deployed on Windows 7 or 8 devices. These were the most important changes in Flutter 3.19. Thank you for watching. I hope this is useful. See you in a new video.